The garden itself came out of the master plan development for the park. Um, there's a number of wish lists that were created and this was one of the top wish lists. There were a number of features we, we tried to develop on a basis of a lot of outdoor rooms all linked together um, with each room giving a different set of skills. The first room that we looked at was actually the outdoor classroom and the outdoor classroom really consists of carved seating in a kind of story circle um, for circle time activities. Uh, it has a storytelling throne. Uh, we also have a tabletop working area and alongside that we have a raised planter which is wheelchair accessible and that can take a whole class around it in the centre. It's a circular planter so that we can actually get people to stand in the middle and show how to work and everybody can see it, you know, circles always work better. Then we also have the Willow Tunnel which is for exploring and it's a little hideaway, the old kind of den thing, getting away from it all, a chill out zone. And um, alongside that we have a pergola and this pergola is actually one of our main features for our artworks. Um, a lot of the artworks we're doing panels, perspex panels which we're going to put on the roof of the pergola. Then we have the sand play area and uh, this gives uh, teachers coordination and skills and step-by-step -step instructions of how to work to work things and progress. It includes um, manipulative skills, handling skills, motor skill development, hand-eye coordination. We have a few diggers, uh, one accessible to all so you don't, it's not seated, you can stand up behind it. And then we have our whisper wall which is sound technology along with artworks um, in the form of mosaics and what happens is you see the picture, you press the button and you hear the noise and all of these were done by a homeless centre uh, worked on these for us and they had great fun doing it. And then around the back of the wall we also have a, a network of paths and ramps and steps. Uh, we've also got a wheelchair ramp up there which is a pivot type thing that you run along and all of a sudden it drips, it's a bit like a seesaw and the children get lots of fun out of that. About six years ago I was asked to produce a letter for the council supporting the building of a sensory garden and a play area for children with special needs and at that time I was more than happy to, to produce that letter and it's lovely today to come along with some of the children from Oakwood School uh, to see and to play with the different uh, items that are created here. It's a wonderful, wonderful resource for the council to produce. It's ex extremely important for our children to play and to learn how to come out into the community and to develop their play skills with, uh, within the uh, area. Uh, our children need a lot of play, a lot of stimulation, a lot of uh, inspiration and it's lovely for them to come along here and get that inspiration. It completely changes the atmosphere of the park with the, the, the sound wall and when phase three is complete the musical musical instruments that will be introduced. It obviously varies the workload um, for the staff before it was, a, it was just a grass area. Now the staff have a, a, a lot more detailed work uh, but they've really embraced the whole idea uh, from the start. It links to our theme um, our vision for Musgrave Park being one of the city's health and wellbeing parks. Well, with the health and wellbeing in mind, our next phase well, for, for me will be the community garden, which is going to be developed at the, just at the side of the, of the garden here. Um, and we, we've already lined up a few schools and a few local groups, um, older people groups, and they're going to get involved and hopefully build the raised beds, plant them up, and then it'll start from the next growing season and we're going to work with the public health agency, hopefully CVNI also, and just get that going. So it'll just add a whole new dimension to the, to the site. Well, um, I'm a community artist and I was commissioned by the council to um, do a mosaic for the therapy garden and um, I was working with local organisations and uh, homeless, Stella Maris Centre and Glen Bay Special School um, and it was a Forest Lodge Respite Centre and it was really about getting the community into the garden to, to use it you know, and to be part of the development of it as well. So I made the mosaics with um, people from those organisations, from the groups and it was fantastic. People really enjoyed the fact that they were being asked to develop the ideas themselves, to something that they were going to be going out and using and their families could go and use, but they were actually being asked to, to help create it. Personally, I, I, I get to take classes with all different people in the community and I mean, what a way to be employed. I absolutely love it. Um, the children here today, as you can see, have been so much fun. 
Uh, they're having a ball. They're going to take some things home. So we get to talk a little bit about the park. And really, I ask them questions and they give me, you know, they're telling me what they already know about animals in the park and what animals are native to the park and what animals aren't, like a lion and things like that. You know, where would you find a lion? Uh, has anybody seen a squirrel? What do they eat? What do they do? That kind of thing. So they get to be involved. Instead of me going out to the school, it's nice for them to come and do it in the surroundings of the park itself. David, um, tell me, um, how did you get involved with the therapy garden? I was uh, talking about it, but uh, one of the staff from management told me about it. Great. And uh, it was an enjoyable experience. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, it did. Uh, it was brilliant. What, what was so good about it? Um, just uh, doing a mosaic and that, and designs. It takes a bit of doing it to find out the way it turns out at the end. And I would love a lot more people to get involved in this, especially for our young handicapped children and elderly people. It would be a lovely thing for them to do because it is more experience, give experience, and it's, it is really great. I have so much pleasure in this. Yeah, so it was a really enjoyable experience? Fantastic experience. It's something I never really thought of. And when I started this, it is absolutely amazing. And you see, when I seen the, the actual product, I was over the moon. I was really over the moon with it. Children are absolutely adoring and I don't know how I'm going to get them back into school again. It's, uh, it's amazing. They have learnt different things, how to plant the plants in the garden. They've worked along the, this wall and they're now digging with equipment in the sand and it's just amazing.